so. Ah, here we go. So, good morning. I'm Allison, and I help people stay accountable to their health and fitness goals, and then I help other people help people do the same. Good morning. So, I am continually trying to figure out the best way to consistently come and do my scopes as I have zero energy at many times of the day with my pregnancy. So that's why I'm trying something else. I'm here in my gym. I just worked out and let's see. Good morning. Let's see if this helps me out. <laughs> just trying to find the time. And so that's one of the things I want to say today is play with your schedule. Figure out when you are at your best and when works for you to do different things. Figure out what works for you. Don't feel like it's kind of like yoga. You do yoga and you get in a pose and you're like, you know, this might be a little better if I move my foot an inch, but I really am supposed to be standing here in this pose. You move, you move, adjust. So play with your schedule, adjust things, figure out what works, play with it. You're not going to have the same productive times as it stretches through your life. So when different things happen, play with it. But that's not what today is about. So. <laughs> I wanted to talk about being excited about things. This is a great way to motivate yourself to do things, to bring yourself to um, ha have your goal in mind and work towards it. So I have lots of things I can be excited about right now, but it's, so I, I'm excited we're having a new baby, we're having, um, we're building a house, we have a vacation planned. I have another vacation planned that it will just be uh, me, not my husband and daughter. I have things in my life that excite me, and they don't have to be these huge things. Trust me, I don't always have these humongous things that are exciting. But find something that you can be excited about. Is it a new challenge? Is it you know meeting your friend for dinner one night? Is it um, a workout you're trying out? Is it? A project you're looking forward to continuing or finishing or something at the end of that <laughs> I'm looking forward to having more time once this project is finished get excited about something because that is going to help keep your energy up excitement brings energy it brings um, something to look forward to um, it gives you a reason to pop out of the bed in the morning so what are you excited about as I said, I have lots of things to be excited about. I have things to be worried about too, and I could choose to focus on that, but why? What is the point of being so, uh, struggling so much with your worries? Do they, does that get you anywhere? I come from a master warrior. Sorry, mom, if you are. Um, listening but she knows I think she knows just as well as everybody else does that she worries enough for everyone so I try to worry less because I know she's already worrying enough for me um, but worrying doesn't really solve your problems it doesn't fix what you are worrying about does it it's like a rocking chair it gives you something to do but doesn't really get you anywhere so what are you excited about be excited, find something. It could be wearing a new outfit, it could be a new pair of shoes, sneakers, and I don't really wear nice shoes. Um, I wear a lot of sneakers though. Um, so what are you excited about? I wanna hear it. Um, you can post it quick here if you want, or you can come find me on Facebook. I'm Allison Getting Fit page there. I would love to hear what's exciting you today. I shared mine with you. I have big things this year. And I don't always have these big things, but this one's a better one. So, but I want to hear what you're excited about. All right? So have a great Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. And that's, it might be that you're excited about the weekend. So have a great one. And I will talk to you soon.